Hi Collective, welcome in. So this is going to be a Lemurian Star Child reading. So we're going to see what messages are coming out here. Restore. The Ships of Light. These are activator cards as well. So certain activations can happen. It's interesting as I say that, and here's the crown. So there could be some sort of activation that's going on within your crown. Ether and matter. These are all ones I just realized. So could restore. It's down here. Ether and matter. The frequency of one. Crown. And ships of light was an 11. And then we had this one. The file of transformation and it's a 10. I'm working, baby. I'm working. Love you. Love you. Hold on. All right. <laughs> so, there's definitely something that is, um, Something is starting. Like it's the new beginning of something. With these being activator cards. There's something with dolphins too. And mountains. Sacred Mountain is here, number seven. Look, another one code. The key to your freedom. I'm just holding the key. It's like... Oh, you can't even see it. It's like hidden. You're being given the key to your freedom. Like, you have the power to set yourself free from something. We need to look into the cards and find out more. Alright, so I'm going to strong touch. Keys to your freedom. Create inner safety, heal to your child, be kind to yourself and balance. Lemurian star child, a doorway of love and light is before you, a portal to the new earth where you walk your light purpose. Your inner child wants to give you the key to the door, the key of love, balance, and surrender. It is your clarity, care, and compassion that allows you to use this key because to soar to great heights, you must also honor the depths within. Your inner child asks you to embrace feelings because these are the vessels through which the message flow. Hmm. Great, now my phone's at 5%. <laughs> You're invited to open this door again to fulfill your destiny. Your higher self tells you how to fearlessly walk through the doorway of the open heart. See, you're, I feel you're at this major juncture. Like, you... You have the power, right, to know. Seeing through attachment, aligned with divine will. Cosmic consciousness. with this crown activation. I am source. It's the affirmation with this card. Like, 
going beyond attachment and the emotions involved beyond security. You're starting to learn to feel. Letting go of attachment to the physical. See, it's like you're detaching from like the 3D physicality, like um. <sighs> this is beautiful. I want to see the ships of light. Beam up your vibration. Open to your star family. Sacred geometry. Ships of light like glowing mandals. Madalas of sacred geometry in mind. Me and my inheritance, divine harmony, and my unlimited nature in the oneness of the universe. In the mirror, you felt like a being of the earth, but you often had your eyes fixed on the sky. You knew of the meaningful messages when you watched the stars at night. Can you remember the Lemurian messages when you stare at the starry sky? The Lemurians were able to receive multidimensional messages by simply feeling. They didn't have the same concept of stars. They opened their hearts to the star light. When a light ship showed itself, they didn't know how it worked, but they felt the benevolence and the simple received the multidimensional messages. Have you connected to the ships of light too? Or would you like to connect? To travel in a ship of light, you need to open your senses in the way of the Lemurians. Are you able to simply receive an experience? It's like, um, hmm. it's literally that, like going up into the ships, right? It's not always in the physical form. Wow, this is beautiful. Hmm. Let's see. Beyond Cycles, 10. 10, 10, baby, in this October. Here's another 7, too, with abundance. Let's see that 7. It's a sacred mountain. 7, 7. This is such a lucky time, right? But here's this, this 10 and 10. Beyond cycles. Hmm. I'm just going to let the cards talk instead of what I perceive. What is it? My kitty is staring at me. New directions, releasing old patterns, cosmic manifestation of divine support, photon belt, cosmic alignment. Yeah, you see how like it's missing light right there? Like going through the portal ray. See Earth down here. And that's so cute. In the old paradigm, you are cycling through the fears because the paradigm is a repetition of the past. Because that paradigm was a repetition of the past. You can now step out of these cycles by creating a loving space for all parts of yourself. Find the dragon in yourself and let it express freedom boldly and benevolently. The dragon does what it does whether people love or fear its presence and give it divine service to humanity. That which want to hide the divine aspects of yourself or perceive the dragon as fearsome as the ego. Afraid it will burn up within the fires of purification, it cannot allow you to see all the helping hands reaching out to gesture of support. Acknowledge the love of all aspects of yourself. The ego fears those aspects at most because they can set you free when you shine your light on them. The dragon sees through all the false thoughts of the ego and wishes to share with you the divine communion. Mankind has created in its mind a battle between good and evil. This is the illusion of thought, which in turn is the illusion of darkness. The cycles of the old paradigm are over. The dragon is the catalyst to bring up the resolution and integration for you to ready to transcend all two-dimensional cycles. In this new paradigm, you will evolve into the higher dimensional sacred geometry figures, such as the infinite hearts and Taurus. This leads to a subtler integration of old cycles transforming into ever-expanding vortices. To end the cycle of the old paradigm, <laughs> Get down. There's my pushy kitty right now. My camera is right there. What are you doing? Stop. 
stop. <laughs> In the dragon journey, you are elevated higher and higher above the earth, obtaining a broader overview. Although none has its earthly beings, the dragon can take you into many higher dimensions. I don't want her tail to get my hammer. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to stop. I'm getting distracted. I'm going to leave this on here. What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> distracted by Luna. All right. Love and light to all of you. <laughs> Tag me out of more of my readings. Bye, guys.